everyone! Uh, today I'd like to talk about masks. So with my condition, chemical sensitivities, or environmental illness, I get sick from a lot of different things, so generally to try to protect ourselves, we go to masks. They don't actually work 100%. They do help because you're not breathing things in, but they're not going to stop you from getting sick because your skin still absorbs stuff. If you're wearing a half mask, your eyes still absorb stuff, your ears still absorb stuff. They're not 100% effective, so do not expect that. But today we're going to go over what I do have, why I purchased it, and how I feel about them. So I'm going to start off with a couple little guys. So these are the I Can Breathe masks. I have two of them. Initially I got work to buy me this one and it's the sport model and I bought for myself the regular one in blue. <laughs> so the difference between the sport model and the regular model are these exhalation valves. So when you breathe out on the sport model you will not be breathing through the resistance on the filter. So the sport model filters have these holes in it, and the regular do not. So I got these shortly after getting sick. I thought they would be a solution. They're not. They are incredibly difficult to breathe through. The filters do not last very long at all. They need, like the, the fabric part on the outside needs washed regularly and like it just holds on to stuff. So if you're super, super mild, maybe you can get away with it. For me, I couldn't. They, uh, they attach with Velcro to the inside of the mask. And so you stick it on, stick it on the bridge of your nose, wrap it around your ears, and there you go. I can't get these to seal, no matter how hard I try. I have to hold them on. I do keep one in my car, this one, the sport one, and I keep this one in my purse. Sometimes I forget to bring my bigger masks with me and I have to pee. <laughs> so it is really hard to wipe your business while you're holding a mask on your face, but it's better than nothing. Um, I don't recommend these. I can only breathe through them for a couple minutes and then I start to feel like I'm completely lacking oxygen. But this was my first attempt. Um, a lot of stares with these giggles, comments. They're not intimidating at all. They just look weird. So people will say things. So these are the little masks I initially bought. I try not to use them. The second mask is my full face mask. So going back to work, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do it without some sort of protection. And I also knew this was not going to cut it. So I chose this. Now the reason I chose this one, there are a lot that went into it. It's a medical grade silicone around the edges here. It's not rubber. It's also convertible, so it currently is set up for a powered respirator, the single through the front, but it has these tabs that you can pull off, that unscrew, and you can put it in the front and you can put an adapter in the sides and you can use it as a passive respirator. So it fits with both types. It also has a speaking diaphragm in the bottom. I have to talk on the phone at work. I have to talk to people at work, and this helps me be heard. So I also got it full face mask because I wanted to protect my eyes, because burning eyes is a major symptom for me. I like this mask, it actually seals. I am starting to get sick from the, uh, the material though, like I get rashes and I get a lot of zits and it starts to hurt. But I mean I am wearing this for eight hours a day 
when I'm at work. So five to seven days a week. I haven't done any overtime yet, but I will be doing 16 hours some days wearing this. Um, it seals well, so that's a positive. The negative is the weight. The mask is about two pounds itself, and it's all in the front of your face. So if you have neck issues, that can make them a lot worse. Um, so I use this one at work. I generally leave it set up for the powered respirator. My initial thought buying this was that I could switch it out if I needed the passive and I'll be good. So it does work, but it's a pain in the ass. And these are starting to get a little torn up because I do not have that big of a screwdriver. So I'm wrecking these side things by undoing it. So I only do that now if I need something like a longer trip, like if I'm going on the bus for some reason or I'm flying somewhere. I will switch this to passive mode because they do not allow powered respirators on the plane. And um, I'll wear this. I can, with the powered respirator, get enough air. That's not an issue. Passively, as long as I don't have to do anything, I can be fine. So I've done eight hours in this passive setup. But most of it was sitting down, not moving, not going up and down stairs. So, for work or for large travel days. This one, filters are on it because I usually do not disassemble it. I put it in a leak-proof container as a whole unit because constantly changing these out is a pain in the ass. So, I bought this one because... Changing this one every day just to drive was a pain in the ass. And I couldn't leave it set up as the powered respirator because I put the unit on the passenger seat and it would pull my head down and there's no way I could shoulder check over the driver's side shoulder here. So I bought this one specifically for driving because this one was becoming too much of a pain to change around. I was wrecking it by changing it around. It's taking too long. And I wanted to preserve this mask because this one is almost $600. So I got this little guy. Um, it took months to off gas. It's not the medical grade silicon. It's something else. Um, it, it's fine. I try to take this one with me because it kind of fits in my purse. Um, I keep it on my passenger seat all the time. And yeah, it's just, it's lighter. It's easier to carry around, which is why I bought it. It has an exhalation valve on it. All the industrial respirators do. And so I use, what are these filters? I don't even remember. 60926 3M filters, multi-gas. So if you're gonna get a passive one, get that one. It's the best protection, like the multi-gas filter. I'm not saying specifically buy 3M. If you find something else, by all means, get that. But get the multi-gas filters. You want the most protection possible. Um, this one's okay. It does bother me a little bit, the material, and I, I really hate wearing it. But like I use it for driving, I use it for getting gas, I use it for going to appointments, I take it with me, I tend to wear it a lot if I go grocery shopping, still get sick. But whatever, it's lighter, it's easier to carry, it's not as high a quality, I think it cost me 40 something dollars and the filters are like 40 something dollars a piece. So it's about equivalent in price to this. The filters on this last a lot longer. So they say about 40 hours here, 24 hours on these ones. These are hard to breathe through. Not easy to breathe through, but a lot easier than these ones. Except I dropped it and I broke it. So it falls apart on me every once in a while. It won't fall apart on, but when I'm going to put it on, it falls apart. 
But yeah, I would recommend to go industrial respirator for anyone who's thinking about it, looking about it, like just skip the cloth ones. They're not, they're not good enough. Um, I find when I wear these ones, I don't get as many comments and the comments I get are usually like fear based <laughs> and I should not get amusement out of this, but I really do. People constantly are asking me if there's something they need to know, are they in danger, what's going on, or they just look at me and back away really, really quickly. All of which I'm good with. They give me space, chances are they're not gonna make me as sick because they're not in my bubble. So I do recommend industrial if you're going, like this one is super high quality mask, super high price. This one, I might buy a second one, just because it's falling apart already, because I dropped it a few times. And it's, it's a good little mask if you only need a little bit. Like if you're using a public washroom, <clears throat> which I don't recommend. Take that ticket, piss on the side of the road. But um, yeah, those are my masks. Those are why I bought them. This one for work, this one because changing it around was annoying and pissing me off. The only thing that really bothers me with this one, besides the material, is that if I turn my head, like I generally look down, I don't know why, but I'll hit my shoulder with the filter and it'll break the seal. So that's my, my complaint on this one. But yeah, those are my masks and why I bought them. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was informative. I will write the model numbers in the description. I don't remember them off the top of my head. Just so that you know exactly what it is I have. And um, yeah, I hope this helped you make a decision on your own mask. Thanks for watching. Bye.